New at 6 o'clock, a high school student is in jail after he allegedly brought a gun to school, showing it to teachers while threatening to hurt himself. Court records show that gun was made with a 3D printer. Tonight, the student is being held on a $1 million bond. Annie Ellie Ruiz joins us from the courthouse with the story you'll only see here on KHOU. Well, the judge taking this case very serious. He increased the suspect's bond from $35,000 to a million dollars. 18-year-old Alexander Teran is in a Harris County jail. This Chavez High School student arrested on Tuesday is now facing charges for carrying a prohibited weapon in prohibited places. Court records state it all started with a conversation he had with a staff member. The defendant stated all teachers should carry guns, either with their own in school, to protect themselves. Prosecutors said the conversation became concerning and they began shoving students into adjoining classrooms. The defendant then responded, yeah, you better get her out of here. And Records say they asked it on how he would do it, and that's when he flashed his gun. The student had a 3D printed gun on his person, which was hidden under his shirt. A 3D printed gun investigators later found out had no bullets. An argument his attorney used in front of a judge today to get his bond reduced from $35,000. He couldn't have harmed anybody. There wasn't a bullet there. There was no ability to create combustion even in this weapon since there wasn't a bullet present, John. His attorney arguing to reduce his bond because his client was making a mental health plea, even asking for house arrest and an ankle monitor. But the judge, Danilo Lacayo, felt differently. I don't know if it will secure the community at this point based on the allegations that I've heard. Instead, the judge reset the case for two weeks and asked prosecutors to examine the 3D printed gun to determine if, in fact, it was a weapon. And the judge significantly raised Teran's bond. I must follow the law. I think a million dollars is sufficient in this case to ensure the community's safety and Sorry about that, so I'm just A mental health evaluation has been ordered on the suspect. Again, the judge gave the attorneys two weeks to present their evidence. Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.